Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Toolbox channel. Today I will be discussing about what are the tools required for running the digital IC design flow. It is very much important to know the tools requirement in each phase of IC design flow. So let's check it out. So this is the overall digital IC design flow. First in this uh, flow you will find the first system specification where you determine the system specs what are the input outputs uh, what are the clock specification everything you have to determine according to your requirement next it is the design entry phase where you will be writing the HDL coding uh, whether it is in VHDL or Verilog next after writing the VHDL Verilog code you have to verify the functionality whether you have to, uh, your logic is correct or not so you have to perform the behavioral simulation next after uh, getting the results okay then you go to synthesis phase where you will synthesis your very low code with a particular technology node it is very much important phase that you have to determine because you have to determine the uh, technology node uh, in which technology node you are going to uh, do your IC design so after synthesis, you will be getting one netlist file, very long netlist file. That netlist file will be again verified in post synthesis verification stage, where we will be again verify the uh, netlist with your original very long code, and where we will compare and check whether it is okay or not, any problems or not in the, during synthesis. So after that, design for testability certain test blocks are entered in the file uh, that is called dft chain for testing the ic's after fabrications or whatever in the phase requirement due to the regard um, depending upon the requirement you can prove the ic's so for proving the ic you have to again uh, insert some dft chain so in this phase you have to enter the dft chain in your uh, design uh, for future uh, pin availability so that you can prove your circuit the, with some particular uh, test pattern so after that you have to do post dft verification after inserting the dft chain whether my original functionality is changing or not uh, is there any alteration and uh, during the um, uh, dft chain insertion so that can be um, checked in uh, post dft verification stage next is your physical design flow in physical design flow we will be uh, doing the backend design where we will be doing the placement for uh, for plan placement routing these are the steps in we will be doing and um, after that physical verification will be done whether it is any any problem or not the tool will check the things next post layout verification will be done after layout, after doing the total backend design post layout verification will be done with your golden Verilog file um, that is called post PNR verification place and route verification next phase is your tape out so this is the final phase after which you will be, uh, re be ready with your file DDS2 file to um, uh, for sending it to the fabrication lab so in doing these uh, steps I will be um, uh, telling you what are the tools requirement required in every step for design entry, you can use NC Launch from Cadence or Bartuso Avial Verilog Editor from our Cadence, HDL uh, Designer Tool from Mentor, Bardi VCS Compiler from Synopsys. For functional verification step, you can use NC Launch Simulation Tool from Cadence, Questa Sim Tool from Mentor, and Bardi VCS Compiler Tool from Synopsys. And for synthesis, you can use Genus Tool from Cadence, OSS RTL Tool from Mentor. Um, design compiler design vision tool from uh, synopsis for post synthesis verification you can use conformal tool um, uh, from cadence question sim formal pro tool from mentor and formality tool from uh, synopsis design for testability for dft you can use conformal tool from cadence and question sim formal pro same uh, tools can be used for design tool testability 
next is for post dft verification again the same tool can be used here also this uh, three step uh, can uh, be done using the same tool flow next is the physical design flow for physical design flow you can use innova tool from guidance nitro associate tool from mentor and uh, ic compiler tool from synopsis next is physical verification steps innova tool can be used here and at present see same tool can be used for physical verification steps and um, post layout verification for post layout verification you can use the shader tool from cadence caliber tool from mentor and um, hercules tool from synopsis so these are the tools required for running the digital ic design flow for performing static timing analysis i have noted the tools which i will be showing in the next slide For running the static timing analysis, Tempest tool can be used for Cadence, Precision tool from Mentor, and Prime Time tool from Synopsis can be used for running the static timing analysis. So these are the tool list I have uh, shown here. I uh, hope you like the video. Please subscribe and um, share my channel. Thank you.